Okay, so my name's Dave King and I'm uh, part of the Luddites 200 Organising Forum, uh, which is a group of people that's been uh, come together to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Luddites Uprising. And we're here, here today in the People's History Museum. We've just done a, a workshop as part of the, uh, of the book fair. And so the Luddites were um, people, workers, uh, at the beginning of the 19th century, 200 years ago this year, who um, basically rose up against the uh, mill owners who were uh, introducing machines into the, into the factories um, in order to uh, undercut their, their jobs and basically make and turn uh, independent workers into uh, factory labourers uh, working for a pittance. Um, and so there was, a, there was an uprising uh, at that time. It was really a major uprising. More troops involved in putting it down than uh, were uh, at any other point in, in British history. Um, so this was a really major event and yet um, for some reason uh, the, the left in general and the, uh, in particular we're here in the People's History Museum behind me we've got the People's History Museum scheme of, of the timeline of events in the 19th century which uh, right where the Luddites should be simply not included uh, there's nothing about the Luddites um, in the general uh, exhibitions in the museum and the museum is not planning to do anything about this anniversary so um, we're, we're here trying to do something about that and uh, one of my comrades is going to talk a bit about why why it is that the uh, the left uh, tends to ignore the Luddites. I think the part of the problem is with the Luddites and history is that it's been written out of official left-wing history. I think there's two reasons for that. One, a lot of people who were orthodox Marxists parodied the ideas of Marx by saying that the Luddites were backward, they were against progress, they were against the rise of industry, and the rise of industry would inevitably lead to a revolution, a revolution that we're still waiting for. Um, I think also those people forget the fact that amongst the Luddites there were very radical elements that maintained the ideas of the French Revolution, the ideas of anti-monarchy, the ideas of uh, democracy. That's been completely ignored and I think a lot of history of the labour movement and working class history has been written by official labour movement historians who seek to keep it very safe and very sanitised. Uh, who portray working class history as one of trade unions, demonstrations and elections once every five years. And in reality it's not. As the Luddites show, working class history is often an history of community engagement and community resistance. Resistance certainly, as far as we can see from the Luddites, was one of communities together without any leaders or without any hierarchies and resistance which led to the solving of working class problems by direct action and the smashing of the machinery. Which is, uh, I think, quite contrary to the way certain aspects of the labour movement want to keep the history of the working class safe and sterile and safe for posterity. It's not, it's about doing things to better his own lives here and now by taking direct action, thinking and acting outside of the box and acting outside of the narrow perimeters that capitalism allows us in which to protest. Okay, thank you. Brilliant. Good. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to say a few words about why I think the Luddites are relevant today and there's two main things I think. Firstly, uh, capitalism uh, as industrial capitalism has basically uh, led to a situation where we, we have global warming, we have um, we have collapse of biodiversity, we have massive overuse of resources uh, so that our children won't have access to you know, the resources that, that we've, we, we've had. Um, so clearly industrial capitalism is going to have to change and I think the Luddites uh, are very relevant there. But it's also true that uh, there's this process whereby technology uh, leads to uh, people being made redundant is, is absolutely continuing now and it's in fact going to accelerate with, with digital technology uh, because, it, because digital technology can be applied to so many different types of jobs uh, and so that's going to in fact lead to, a, to a, a serious crisis for the whole capitalist economy which we're just starting to see, see the beginning of. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put up, uh, we're going to insert the Luddites into the, uh, into the timeline of, uh, of, of working class 19th century history. Ready? Okay. 
guys. There we go. Well, I'll just say a few more words, actually. Um, so, uh, we've temporarily put the Luddites back on the map. We're going to be handing you know, a letter of protest to the People's History Museum, asking them to do that on a permanent basis. And also, we want them to organise some events around this anniversary and to make it part of the museum's permanent displays. So that's, that's going to be an ongoing process of trying to get the uh, People's History Museum uh, you know, to, to live up to its job of, of telling the people's history properly.